In this video, we'll go over the DX Data Grid widget filtering capabilities. End users can filter using a filter row. To filter records by column, I'll type Clark in the employee filter. If any records are found, the grid will contain only these records. To filter data against a specific column, I can use the column's header filter. The filter dropdown displays unique column values. I can select any items from the list and it automatically filters the grid. Different filter operations may be performed over a column. I'll type 36,000 in the invoice number column and change the current filter operation by choosing a certain item from the menu. Date and number data can also be filtered by range. I'll choose the between filter operation. Since the start range value is already set, I'll only need to type in the end range. Now the grid only shows those items inside the start and end range. You can also filter data by predefined ranges. Use the search panel to find information within the grid. This feature allows you to find any record that matches values entered into the search field. I've already created a simple web page and added the DX Data Grid widget and connected it to a data source. And here it is. It displays information on orders. Let's add filtering for grid records. I'll enable the filter row. Set the visible option of the filter row object to true. All right, let's see how filtering works. To filter the grid records, type a value or a part of it in the filter row cell. Matching records are determined by the column's current filter operation. Usually, a filter row cell is a text box, but in certain cases, the filter row cell can be represented by a control more suitable for filtering that particular column. For example, when the data type option of a column is set to date, its filter row cell has a calendar to select dates. To change the currently selected filter operation, click the filter icon and choose a filter operation from the drop-down list. You can also reset it by clicking here. Now I'll enable the header filter by setting the visible option of the header filter object to true. Let's take a look at this. Now, each column header is accompanied by a filter icon with a drop-down menu. In this menu, all unique values from the current column are listed. Let's go ahead and select multiple values. The grid now displays records for those selected values. Columns with dates automatically group data by years and months, so I can easily filter data by month or year. The column header filter can also be combined into groups. Let's configure a data selector for the invoice number column. Assign a number to the header filter dot group interval option. It'll be the maximum length of each group. The greater the number, the less generated groups will be. I'll also set the group interval for the order date column to month. Let's take a look at this in the browser. I can select one or more intervals to filter the data. According to the specified group interval, I can filter the order date by years and months only. Now let's customize the header filter for the sales amount column. I'll define the data source to be used for its header filter and insert an array that represents intervals. Let's look at the changes. I can select any range to filter the grid by data included in the selected intervals. One last thing we'll do is enable the search panel. To do this, I'll set the search panel dot visible option to true.
and let's take a look. The search panel filters records by all columns at once. To search through records, type SA in the search panel. As you can see, matching records are displayed in the grid. There's different searches for columns with different data types. To find a record by a numeric, Boolean, or date value, you'll need to enter a full value into the search panel. And that's it. You can learn more about the grid from our documentation online. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.